Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're going. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me scooch okay, this over yes. so you can see. Or we can get closer. Uh, Hello. Here we are. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to start. Wonderful. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Fuck Me with David Rivas. I'm David Rivas. And this right here is my lovely guest for the week, Miss... Ariana. Um... We can go by Ari. If okay, that's Ari, cool. Ari, yeah. giving Miss Grande a run Ms. for her money. Yes, Ariana Venti is what I say. <laughs> I'm bigger and better than that bitch. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Shots fired. Every okay. day I get that comment, the Ariana Grande comment. Really? Yeah. Especially, I wait tables as well. Mm. So when I walk up, they ask if my makeup is tattooed and if I am indeed Miss Grande. <laughs> Okay, so, sorry, I just had to, actually, before we start drinking wine, I gotta take a shot. Okay. Back to the sweet wine. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's gonna loosen me up. Literally, the Wait, first do thing. we have glasses? Yeah, yeah, they're, uh, they're over there. Over remember? yonder. Yeah. So, literally, the first thing that happened when Ariana got here, Miss Ari, when she got here, I left the door open, unlocked, I was in the shower naked, fully, I was like, she's not here for another ten minutes, like, I, I can shower, I can shower. Bitch, my crackhead ass, she walked in on me, but it's alright. I did! And I, I looked around, I was peeking around, and I could not find him, and then I heard the shower running, saw the steam. How on brand, And had to, resist. had to resist. Thank you, I love that. Consent. Consent. If you, uh, if you consent saw my later Twitter key. drama, my latest Twitter drama with consent. What happened? Oh, it was for another, another, another yeah, episode. Yeah, another episode. Um, but yeah, so here we are. So you already introduced yourself. You said your name is Ari. What are your pronouns? She, my dear? her. She, her. Perfect. Yes. And your orientation? Um, mostly a lesbian. Sometimes a, a man with a mustache. Is there like... <laughs> <laughs> a very pretty man with a mustache. Yes. Love that. They have to also just be like very smart, yeah. inclusive, kind, Word. and giving. Word. Is that like... You know how they have that term like hetero flexible? Is yes. that is that homoflexible? Homoflex- yeah, that yeah. homoflexible. I, I think about it sometimes. Oh, word. Cheers. Here we are. Cheers, please. Ah, oh. uh, I needed that. Okay. Yes. So my next question: Where are you from? Long story. I was born in Jersey. Mm-hmm. Lived there. My dad was a military contractor, so. All over the South, which was horrible. Gay people don't live to the live in the South. Yeah, or get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Not safe. Not good. At mm. least where I was, I was in like small towns, rural areas. So it was like a Baptist church every half mile at least, yeah. and people thought I was a witch. Of course. Black magic, um, dark woman. Of course, of course, because I'm vegetarian and Hindu, and they knew I was gay before I was. So. Yeah, it's the South, they'll clock you like that. I, Real fast. Mad dumb. So, uh, you're from the South, but I met you down here in Delaware. Delaware. Rehoboth yeah. Beach, Delaware. Sh- oh, ooh, shout out to Rehoboth Beach. Why is this thing falling? She's okay. tipsy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah, oh, there was a heart. Thank you. I don't know who did that. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, so I met you down here, and I've known you, like, like we've hung out a handful of times, we right? Met originally at Grandpa Max. At Grandpa Max. Max. Shout out to Grandpa Shout Max Shout out Orion. to Orion. That's where I work. Um, so we met there, and I remember my boss was like, oh, yeah, she's she goes to a school in New York, too. too. Here's her Instagram. Remember? I and didn't he, know yeah, that. Yeah, no, he introduced <laughs> us. Then after, he was like, oh, this is her Instagram. Yes. So I followed you. Yeah. Word. Okay. Love that. So that's how we met. Now for t- today's topic, masturbation. Sexy Ooh. time with yourself. Okay, I'm going to be very blunt and very honest. I, I don't want to say I don't have any idea how women and people with vaginas, like trans women and whatnot, and those who don't identify with either... Or any. I do not know how to masturbate with a vagina. Because like, you don't have one. Yeah, I don't have one. Yeah. But even, like, I feel like straight guys have... They think they know because uh, the mechanics of gay sex... Or not gay sex. <laughs> the mechanics of straight sex. Uh, just, like, the penetration. Yeah. But, like... Yeah, I don't know. So you're going to have to educate Yeah, them. so... 
a lot of my experiences with men were not super focused on like that kind of stuff like touching yeah. and tasting and yeah. doing all that good stuff it was more focused on them and their pleasure and yeah. their eventual yeah final they had product, to they had to get the know? nut or whatever or whatever the straight guys say so which is dumb then when i learned that that wasn't normal like that's that's not right <laughs> um i i realized like I can take that into my own hands, and the validation that I was looking for was, like, through men. I was, like, using men for validation yeah. to love myself, when in reality, I could just stay home and yeah. love myself. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it works out way better. It really does. There's no guilt after. There's no, like, post-nut clarity. There's, like, just that feeling of, like, I personally will do it, like, when I wake up or right before I go to bed, because I feel like it either... Like, helps me jumpstart my day or, like, finish my day. Yeah. So, like, how many times, let's say, a week do you masturbate? When my vibrator is charged nightly. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, same. And when it's not, like, because I lost the charger recently <sighs> to the wand. The to- wand, oh. if you see this, <laughs> sponsor me. I need a new charger. It's the wand. Le wand. Le wand. L-E. Yeah. Like, yes. le wand. Le, le, le wand. Le wand. Le wand. And she's gorgeous. And What color? Because they're colors, right? Yeah. Or is it just, like, so the white one? There's... The original one I had was from a, a man in New York who I was... <laughs> Ooh, okay. I met on Tinder, actually. Love that. And... We ended up, like, I ended up staying at his apartment for, like, a week-long, like, moment. We just ended up vibing so hard. Yeah. He was a vegetarian. He, like, the second day we met, he bought it. And then I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and so then, you know, used that for a period of time. Okay, and then yeah. she ended up disappearing. I've lost um, vibrators in bars. I, um... You take them with you, or...? Yeah, you gotta stay strapped. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You got it, cause like, like as, a sex bar or just like yeah, a truly like a, a like a regular bar. Like I don't know if you went to like Woody's or something. Oh, so like when I go when I was I was living in New York City for three years. Yeah. so I've been to like kink parties and stuff like that. Word. So okay, you got to stay strapped for that. But also like, you never as a woman loving woman loving woman loving woman. Yeah. We L W L. We you know sometimes like. You gotta have, the moment. We have, yeah. the, we have yeah. the bag. We have the bag. And okay. I happen to have... Oh, show and tell. Oh, my the God. The grandma bag. <laughs> we have the grandma bag. You know, we're not strapped tonight, because... Oh, okay, word. I, oh, man, I, I really thought... I thought she was going to pull out a fucking vibrator I from that bag. Have. I really should have, because that's what this is about. Yeah, that's Damn. why I got so excited. It was like, oh, Fuck. she came literally Fuck. strapped. That would have been so good. No, the it's timing, fine. It's timing. fine. But that's also, um, I think, something fairly personal, right? Yeah, like, I know my sex toys, I like... My, like, my one... Mine does not leave the house. Mm-hmm. I have, like, multiple... I have a lot of different toys that I, like, use, but I won't typically, like, use on myself. Yeah. Like, a lot of them have certain memories with certain exes, so I don't really use them anymore mm-hmm. at all. And some of them I use as, like, my like my original strap-on. Like, yeah. That I feel, like, super connected to. Yeah. Because it was, like, my first... It's a very empowering thing to have, like, as a woman, to, like, put on a fucking penis. Yeah. And walk around and, like, have that confident energy. It, like, and also just being able to, like, give your partner that kind Mm -hmm. of satisfaction and be connected in that kind of way. And I feel like a lot of the pressures of, like, heteronormativity pushed on, like, lesbian relationships, like, who's the boyfriend in Mm -hmm. a relationship? Like, that's a... Because I'm a feminine woman as well. Like, I sometimes I'll dress masculine, but yeah. that's not typically in my everyday kind of look. And so you don't really expect me to have a strap on, but mm-hmm. I do because that's, like, it's a it's a confidence and a power thing in the bedroom and, like, the, the energy that you feel, like, as a woman wearing that or as, like, a trans person wearing that or as any kind of person, like, with a vagina wearing a penis. It's really a fun experience. I highly recommend it. Do you feel like... I feel like men in particular have established this, like, this 
power energy and they associate it with the penis because like, yeah. like if your big, dick is big, big, big dick, like, yeah, big dick energy, like a big dick time. swinging or like yes, uh, a measuring exactly, like, like or, or like when guys bottle, like just comparing it to <laughs> yeah. things and like just basing that like as a, like a personality trait. And usually the guys that say shit like that are not the ones that are packing. Like mm-hmm. the ones that have it stay silent because they know they don't need to prove anything. Yeah, the people that are hyping themselves up constantly are the ones that are usually the ones that feel very self-conscious and not, like, confident in the venture or with themselves as a person. I, I see that. See, yeah. I, maybe it's just, like, I think it's, like, a power thing in yeah. particular that that men give to that. And so to be uh, somebody who's not a man or identify as a cis man, right? Isn't that Moscato good? This is delicious. To have it for that moment of time and to use it to, like facilitate and like get pleasure out of somebody Mm -hmm. wow i never thought of that power dynamic yeah so do you usually in my research because i tried to do research uh i looked up how people masturbate uh with vaginas and in particular i started with women because that's who i mean straight women are marginalized definitely but i feel like they would have had the most information and truly there was next to nothing yeah but i did look up and i stumbled upon like people get off with clitoral stimulation and then people get off with penetration uh penetrated yeah internal is that how you would say that not penetrated internal penetration yeah Yeah. or external pleasure so the toys that you use do you feel like my, do you have one for each use, or do you like a yeah. combination of both? Uh, so, mostly what I prefer is, like, clitoral stim- stimulation yeah, the for nose. me. The I nose. keep calling it the nose. The nose. The we'll, we'll call it the nose tonight. Yeah. Um, and that's, pers- like, personally what feels best to me, because there's not really much going on when, like, it's... You have to have, like, a certain shape and a certain size. And, like, I've found toys that work perfectly for me yeah. in that way. And so I'll use that in a combination with another toy. Or I'll use that in combination with my fingers. Or I'll use that just by itself. Because, yeah. like, I've done a lot of, like, research on female pleasure because it's not taught in public schools. Not at all. <laughs> so I had to pretty much do all the groundwork there. And learning about, like, women going to, like, other women, like, people that know a lot about it. I wish I would have looked up her name before I came here, but um, she pretty much leads these groups where they, t- like, they sit. And she greets you at the door, butt naked. I everything. That. Like, and so you get in her house, hang up your coat, hang up your clothes, and you sit in a circle and you talk about it and you, like, look at each other's vaginas and you, like touch yourself in front of each other and like try to like learn what makes your body feel the best and I just thought like that blew my mind so yeah their technique in, in particular is like like a hip rocking motion with internal penetration as well as clitoral stimulation at the same time so you're doing like a little roundhouse move on the clit and you're going yeah. <laughs> okay, a little word. rock and roll yeah. kind of motion with the hips and it, it gives you that like natural primal kind of feeling of having sex and puts you kind of in the mindset of that and so I've kind of... It's the physical memory of yeah, that. Okay, yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. But not everybody likes that kind of physical memory. Mm-hmm. Like people have trauma. I specific, like yeah. I have trauma with men so like penetration is not my first priority it's usually my last like yeah i don't really think about it until the end and then i'm like after i climax i'll be like you know what might as well throw a little <laughs> a little one two punch little... okay the two peas yeah bim bam boom how so let me ask you said you looked it up and you looked up that woman right yeah how old were you when you figured out what masturbation was like, what was the thing? Like, I remember, for me, personally, it was uh, the Transformers movie with, <laughs> <laughs> with uh, fucking Shia LaBeouf. Cause Shia th- LaBeouf yeah, could still get it I, any he day can. of the week. Uh, Have oh you seen his dick? God. There's a movie full... <gasps> he's in this movie called Nymphomaniac. I love Nymphomaniac. Yeah. And that movie actually 
had like a huge impact mm-hmm. on me because I think everybody the way in, people, on Tumblr saw it that yes. that one year it trended. Mm-hmm. So everyone stigmatizes like female pleasure with vibration mm-hmm. because they're like, oh, you're gonna fry it off. Like it's just not gonna work anymore. Like you're just gonna fry your little cells down there and it's not gonna work. Yeah. The clitoris has more nerve endings in it than your whole fucking body. Like it has, it is the most, the highest pleasure sense zone in the entire body. Wow. So, like, you can't fry that. Yeah. Just saying. So, people, in this, she had ended up, like, losing sensation down there mm-hmm. after having a lot of trauma and then having a lot of sex and then uh, how that affected her. And I've had, like, similar experiences, like, using sex to try and heal trauma mm-hmm. and, as a coping and, mechanism yeah truly. like continuing the cycle of abuse because i thought i was in the power stance mm-hmm. i thought i was the one that was in control when in reality they were still getting what they wanted mm-hmm. so like people saying that you're gonna just like lose feeling down there like that that was a huge thing in my brain like what if that actually happens to me um, it's something that you think about and it's it's strange yeah but, fuck it like you're only here for so long yeah. and do what feels good and you came in naked and screaming might as well be the same way i will so about how old then were i was pro i was super young when i because trauma like yeah. i was exposed to sex at a very young age mm-hmm. that i shouldn't have been exposed to uh so i knew what stimulation like that felt like as a as a young kid when i really first realized what actually it was like whoa Mm -hmm. that's awesome was probably like fifth or sixth grade when i started playing with the the shower detachable shower head lovely gal she is uh, everybody's first friend she could still get it (laughs) any day any day i feel blessed when i come into contact with with one of those detachable shower heads oh like rich people houses when i Uh. When I go to rich people, I love when they have the one you can like rotate the The, setting, the strength setting, (laughs) where you can do the jet. Uh, That's the only one. Listen, I mean, you need to go put the jet on your butthole, guys. (laughs) (laughs) Women, I'm sure you're very familiar, but put the jet on your butthole because, whoa, (laughs) like it's so good. You remember like being in the kid as, and being a kid in the kid, in the kid as a pool. Uh, oh, when the, the, the like the, the jet. jets, yeah, yes. or does it, or even like yeah. in like a bathtub that had jets in, or like any kind of thing that had jets with it, you were just like, wow, that stimulation is localized, and, and it's like you didn't even the know that you were skin doing Skin can take a lot like, of like wrong. beating. Yeah, yeah. You, it was just like whoa, and then you like swim away, and you're like, that was funny. Like it was not sexualized as much, and then you realize like, wow, that's that's great. So I was probably like fifth, sixth grade, so mm-hmm. probably like. 10, 11. Yeah, that's like 10 or 11, I think. I think. So, when you discovered it, did you have this, like, uh, I know I discovered a lot of shame with it. Mm-hmm. Like, I used to pray, I would, like, masturbate all the time, because I'm a little oh, kid. Yeah. I was a little boy. Like, that's yeah. what, that's, that's what, what you we do. do. When you're coming into, a same yeah. it, little girls as well. I have two little brothers, and, like, even, like, my brother was, like, one and a half or two. We went mm-hmm. on an airplane, and... Was, it's the pressure change. The pressure like, yeah, change. <laughs> it does something to the blood, and it and gets it the just, feng shui going, and it and just it, goes. It just got, It just went, mm-hmm. and I was like, Mom, like, <laughs> what is going on? And he was... Like, you need to get him. I was, <laughs> like, yeah. I was probably like 10, 11, 12. I was like, Mom, what is, he, what is he doing? <laughs> like, why is that happening? I didn't know babies could do that. Like, <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, they can. That's insane. That I Like, I, I had never really been, ex- like exposed to anything like that other than like taking care of my little brothers like cleaning their butts when they're kids like that's the extent of that (laughs) (laughs) cheers to that cheers to that so so did you like uh, find this shame in that or have a stigma because I feel in particular women do not Men we talk about masturbating all the time. No, Women and that's so weird to, to me. It's so yeah. different to me because I I date men and women, and when I'm dating men and they tell me about, like, their experiences that they've had as kids where they're, like, you know, like, like come on a biscuit or whatever that oh, yeah. stupid game is and, like, just weird shit, like, yeah. jerking off and watching porn with your friends and stuff like that. Like, 
I know that like a lot of girls had have had like similar experiences as me like mm -hmm. they're just like experimenting with other girls your age as a, as a kid yeah. like kissing and touching and being like whoa your boobs are nice or whatever like like exploring each other's yeah, bodies because that's other, you were discovering it was, yourself it was and a, at the same time sexuality it wasn't in a like a romantic way either it was just like in a very delicate kind of like yeah innocent very like childlike minded way like there was no like we weren't like fucking each other but we were just like whoa like whoa if i do this this like, happens uh, yeah. isn't that cool yeah it's, no yeah so the the stigma like around women and talking about pleasure is like you're not allowed to talk about it like even in i remember my sex education was in north carolina uh. <laughs> Gotta love it. R.I.P. to you. I'm so sorry. So this this beautiful woman walks into this classroom. She's probably like 250 pounds. She walks up to the desk, sits down, lifts one tit up, drops the other tit on the t table, and she's like, we're going to learn about this. We're going to learn about sex, vaginas, periods, and uh, that's it. Like, pretty much don't have sex. Oh my god. Your <laughs> Your tampons take your virginity, your virginity, so only use a pad, right? 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 Oh my god, so this and is what happened like, that day, the girls got taken away and the boys mm -hmm. were watching that dumbass video? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's awful. So they gave us pads, like panty liners and pads, mm -hmm. they did not give us tampons, and, uh, They should have given you gave a diva us, cup or something. I, I'm wearing a diva cup right now. Mm. <laughs> work yeah clean. collect that blood and you Diva know Cup, what? please sponsor us <laughs> please, please i'm begging sponsor us. i'm begging also there's so much stigma about around period blood as mm -hmm. well like being on your period just having a vagina and this i'm glad i could talk about this with a gay man because it's been irking me in the soul lately the way that gay men talk about vaginas in such like a disgusted way mm -hmm. and you're you're excluding your brain from a whole a whole hole a whole hole yeah and like there are men with the bonus hole that's mm -hmm. what i've heard a lot of my, a my lot trans, of trans men call it yeah. they they call it the bonus hole and you know yeah you're excluding yourself from that and you're excluding yourself from including people and being a kind person like it's just the respect level is just not where it should be with a lot of Mm -hmm. gay men that I've interacted with being like, ew, you're pussy? Like, what are you... You're on your period? That's fucking disgusting. Or like, oh, something's fishy. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, like that whole so fishy term. Yeah. about that. And, you know, it puts a stigma and it, it continues the stigma and we're supposed to be uplifting each other mm -hmm. and, like, that, that makes me, my heart hurt. How do yeah. you feel about it? I... Maybe, um... Maybe my views aren't for the whole gay community and I acknowledge that yeah, but I would sure. like them to be I think vaginas are beautiful because yeah. first of all for the most of us I was a c-section mm -hmm. but for most of us uh that's where we came from you know yeah. what I mean like we come from a woman a woman yeah. literally like, painfully pushed us out of the birth yeah. canal I mean it's again I also don't know female anatomy like it, it, the the vagina hole in particular mm -hmm. is the birth canal, right? Yeah. So, exactly. See, so it came out of that hole. Like, you, okay, you don't find women attractive. Mm -hmm. Fine. That's, well, you that's, don't have to, you don't like, have to call shame their disgusting. body. Yeah. It's yeah. the same thing as, like, oh, I don't, like, well, not me, but like saying, I don't find uh, people with a green, or green eyes or skin color, hello. Like, uh, yeah. I don't find them attractive. It's like, that's why are you. Why are you going to put down... Say that out loud. <laughs> First of all, yeah, say that out loud with your worms for brains. But why are you going to put down an entire group of people based on a physical attribute exactly. that they had no control over? Exactly. That's... It, it ties like, back to that. Like, these I, oh. these are people. They have vaginas. So what? Yeah. In and, eighth grade, my English teacher said... this. Is, like, I've only had a couple good teachers in my life, and this is one of them. And he said, you... When you make fun of someone, you do, you do not make fun of their untu unchangeables. Unchangeables. Oh. You cannot change your skin tone. You can ch not change who your parents are. You cannot, you like, you can't like change, you can't change your, your sexuality. Your, yeah. You can't change that kind of shit. So you don't, if you can't say anything nice, then don't fucking say anything. Yeah. You can't make fun of someone's, I, I mean, I can be like, honey, your breath's 
stinks mm-hmm. and you just It probably does. I'm very nervous disgust- about it today. No, me too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, but like you can like you can say shit like, like that because you can brush your teeth and that's you're something you can change. You're a fucking ass because yeah. you, that's how you should do it. You should do it off the behavior. You're, yes, word. exactly. But not off on changeables and I can't change my beautiful vagina and sometimes it smells. It is. You know I mean, what? it sometimes happens. Sometimes it does. Ass smells too. A pit smell. Hello. People, <laughs> whole ass people smell <laughs> yes, like everything. It just take a whiff, like get over it. So yeah, personally, I, I, I've had sex with trans men and non-binary people as well. I and GNC gender non-conforming people as well, and I found it to be beautiful. I, it's, I, I mean, I'm a cis man, so I use my penis in a very like penetrative way usually. So it, it's just the same mechanic, just oh, in a yeah, different location, yeah. like yeah. Um, so I'm not scared about them. Yeah. And I'm su- I'm so sorry. And it sucks that as a woman with a vagina, you feel an entire group of people like have stigmatized you. Yeah. I, even the gay men, we identify so heavily with women. Yeah. And we love their bodies. We love and a like, woman with a curvy body. And like also drag culture this, too. Yeah, like, hello. Hello. Like you're a, like taking our female experiences and kind of like exaggerating them and to the extreme kind of ways and then you're you love to say pussy but the moment one pops out you suddenly like, can't take Bleh. it like, uh, yeah exactly what the fuck yeah, it's rude <laughs> watch your mouth yeah i but i think that would that is going to get phased out with yeah with time, with time but also with education education exactly yeah. uh, hopefully things like this people being, <laughs> like, like w- more queer people more people that are educated like genuinely about sex education and mm-hmm. talk about everything and not just about like abstinence i was searching for the word that's like, yeah <laughs> and like not just preaching abstinence like talking about everything all types of bodies all types of sex all t- like i didn't know burp about I, I, gay it's sex. moscato it's bubbly sorry it's guys bubbles um i like i didn't know about it and i thought like as a as a kid like you know when you played house as a kid you like you're like honey i'm home yeah <laughs> and you you know you kiss your girlfriend on the cheek or on mm-hmm. the mouth and like i thought that was normal and i i always had crushes on girls as a kid mm-hmm. and then i got to an age where everyone was like no like you are supposed to like boys and i was like okay bet so i started doing that mm-hmm. And then around freshman year, I met this girl. Her name is Bailey. She's stunning. She had short hair. Hi, Bailey. Hi, Bailey. I'm not going to give you the full at, but she's stunning. Yeah. And um, shaved head. Worked at Hooters. Like, just... Oh, okay. She Love was giving that. me everything. And yeah. She was a senior and I was a freshman. And so I just thought this woman was God. Mm-hmm. And um, she just inspired me to cut my hair off. And I cut off 22 inches of hair as a 13-year-old freshman in high school. Um, And that's why everyone thought I was a witch and a lesbian. (laughs) So. (laughs) Mess. I'm so sorry. Mess. Mess. And then I moved, so it's fine. Yeah. So, we've touched on it a little bit. You Mm -hmm. discovered it. You, You feel the stigma with it. But also, it's beautiful. Let's get down to the, like mechanics mm-hmm. do you, or I guess not mechanics like what do you use aside from your toys mm-hmm. what do you use media wise do you use oh, your imagination do you yeah. use visual porn I know I like it's to get a little question. spicy and I like to read like like erotic fan reading. fiction <laughs> <laughs> oh god reading. I love a lemon it, yes so reading was more like my my tumblr phase when I was like you know like Let's say, like, between... That's like 15, 16. Thir- no, between, like, really? 13 to, well, like... Boys develop slower, so that's when I learned how to read, yeah. so... <laughs> so 13 to, like, probably, like, 15, 16 was, like, reading and then Tumblr gifts. Oh, yes. Tumblr Ooh. gifts! They hit the spot, oh, I'm thinking about... Sure uh, They're so good. Like, the like the veins popping out of the arms yeah. and the sweat. Or that, I love oh. that that stupid gift that, like... <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, wait, it's the... It's the you know what I'm talking yeah, about? No, but it's like somebody's melt or somebody's red, belt yeah. in their hand. Yes. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> yes. So that was that was like my That way. was that era. So yeah, it was so transition from the reading into the visual. The reading okay. into the visual and then more getting into the visual. I like would go on Pornhub, which is a terrible pra- mm-hmm. platform. Fuck Pornhub. 
what you're doing to Mia Khalifa is disgusting. I hate you. I hate all like mainstream porn media platforms. So I was using another shitty mainstream yeah. play media platform for a little bit. Spank bang. Very not good. Mm. But they had I just like, like the names, why? Right? Yeah. At but... least with gay porn, it's like Treasure Island Media. <laughs> Cocky Boys. <laughs> no. Uh, and... Bell Ami or like, Bellamy, whatever it is. The stuff they had on there was more like I like watching vintage porn too. So I like the yeah. whole But they would have like the whole fifty two minute moment, but I listen to if I ever watch porn, it's volume all the way down. I don't like to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Okay. I don't need to hear you. Um, the, audi- the audio is usually, like, what turns me off mm. about porn because it's so the, like, dramatized. Yeah. Because it's the, ah, ah, ah. Uh, yeah. Like, I don't need to hear that I notice it's mainly just it's, women, too, it, that it, they, it, they direct women, yeah, I assume. To, to make it as extreme as possible, like, you're literally orgasming every single second mm. of sex. When in reality, it's like, if you're doing it right, it's a slow burn, it's a slow bubble, and then you, you know... Then you get there. You you get there. And it should, like... Anyway, so I like that they have, like, the storyline with mm-hmm. it. Like, it's like the secretary, the yeah. boss. Yeah, there's, like, there's the... There's a whole storyline. <laughs> if there's the undressing, it's, like, very... It's more delicate, and I, I like the... That it's more, I feel like, cinematic in a way. Like, mm-hmm. it... They were. Well, just, it was film. It, it was experimental film yeah. at the time. I mean, and I love that. It's so good. Are you still with? Do so, you still like the vintage? Mostly, I use my imagination now because I have like certain people that I'll like be crushing on and fantasizing about. Mm. I'm a like, and even I'll just think on like old experiences of too. Course, yeah. I'll be like, oh, remember that like, one time? Or even just like fantasize about like randoms or like the famous people yeah of course any type of people and then the vintage porn it's, if i want to like a quick one like yeah that's, that's a, a quickie nice Word. quickie one of my favorite storylines is is the doctor patient moment Ooh, yeah but it has to be believable like there has to <laughs> it has to have the actual okay story <laughs> like he yeah, has to actually console, do the pre-op the kind of like <laughs> I, I, let me put on the gloves yes um, we need the whole moment you gotta see her change into the gown before and sit there for 15 fucking minutes <laughs> While the like fucking RN comes yeah. in, like he'll be in in, in, in a yes. second. Yeah. Yes, yes, I need the whole moment. I need the full. <laughs> I love moment. that. I though. need the full moment. Word. So like. So you say you use your imagination. Do you think that lets you, gives you freedom to do it in more places than mm-hmm. just your bedroom? Like, do yeah. you masturbate just there, or the it's shower? So funny. Or... I was just talking about this today. So, my people with vaginas. Well, I think, know what I'm talking about. If I'm alone, please... Don't let her be alone. Don't let me be alone. Um, When you wear super tight skinny jeans and you're sitting in a certain position, it'll, like... Like, if I were sitting cross-legged in the skinny jeans right now and I, like, just did, like, a little side-to-side, like, leg twitch motion, I could literally full-on... What? Clean, mop, mop it up, like yes, genuinely. Yes, are you? So, ser- yeah, so that's like cl- that's clitoral school or like middle school. Then, right? Yeah, okay. And you you'll sit on like the side of the chair instead of like the the. Oh chair. yeah, okay. So you're doing like a little, a little dance motion, and you get her done. I'm. Now I'm going through my Rolodex of high school memories <laughs> of being like I've seen this girl do this. I've seen. Good. My mind is blown. Yeah, but. And also, like, I'm super femme. Mm. Um, lately, I've been just, like, I've been thinking about it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, like, it's on your mind, yeah. It's, it's on my mind, like, roadhead is on my mind. Like, for a woman, like, that's not really possible. You can't really, like, get head while yeah. you're driving. It's not safe. Do not recommend that. But <laughs> uh, you can give yourself a little, like, one-two motion if yeah. it's late at night or <laughs> You're a little bit strong. <laughs> You're just trying to get home. Yeah, like, like it's, like, it's, it's like, it's the equivalent of, like, playing with your hair or, like, yes, scratching exactly. or rubbing something. Like, it's, and, like, when you're watching TV, too, like, you're not, like, actually intending to give yourself an orgasm. You just have your hand in your, in your pants. Yeah. Like, 
It's just like a natural, like a safe place to protect your privates, mm-hmm. and also it just so like happens yeah. To be real good. Like there's no harm in that for me. You're not hurting anybody. So do you feel? Um, not so do you feel? Because you have the ability to, have you been caught like? Like getting off somewhere, like have you been caught by not not necessarily like so, for them to know what you're doing, but for them to be like, hey, you good, <laughs> and, and you to be like, great. So, this is this is a great story. This is my first week of college. This is my. I'll drink to that. Drink to this. Drink to this. First week of college. We are going through this wine. In the dorm, I love it. We're we're vibing. I'm less jittery now, so we're yeah, feeling good. Same. So, <laughs> it's the first week. I'm in my dorm my dorm room alone for the first time because my roommate is like finally out the house at a time yeah. where I'm home and can at this be alone. point you've been there for like two and a half weeks. No, like, one week. Just one week. One week, and I'm she's finally out mm. the house. Lock the door. The bathroom door connects to another dorm so we share a bathroom and it's it's nice because it's just like the four of us with one bathroom it's it's clean we keep it tidy and um so they have access to my room i have access to their room Mm. if they don't lock it from the inside yeah we usually never did because we'll be like knock knock can i borrow some salt like whatever okay love that and so (laughs) the door is unlocked but it's closed front door is locked i'm on the top bunk not a good situation already. So I'm fully oh God, spreading. I can hear that wood creaking no, and like everything. No, it's metal. Oh my no. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there was, there was no type of motion. I was like fully like spread eagle, like very close. The number 23, yeah. To, to the ladder though. Like I don't know why I was so far down on the bed, <laughs> but I was just feeling myself. And yeah. I was going for it. The music is blasting. We are playing some type of like hype music okay, it's, love that. it's not hype but it's like you know vibing We're, yeah it's, like a it's a very specific up vibe yeah like tempo. a like, yeah you can twerk to it but it's still like but you can yeah. smoke to it too yes exactly essentially thing, exactly yeah. so i'm going to town with my nice little yellow tennis it's called the tennis coach it's on urban outfitters give it a look-see yeah they sell sex toys wow i had no idea yes so, and um so going to town and music is loud so I don't hear the door open from the bathroom yeah and he walks in and he's like oh my god I thought, oh my you, god. Were, I thought you were dancing in here I thought well you were, I mean it's not like you loud. weren't yeah <laughs> And I was like, just dance, dancing down there, yeah. Dancing down here, sorry. And it was like the first time I was alone, so I felt so like, uh, like violated in a way. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Was like, it a straight like, guy? No, he's gay. Okay. So well, it was not that that makes it any better, it, but well, like, it was, it, it, it's, it's a little less like threatening. Yeah, like, it yeah. was totally less threatening because he's so sweet about it. Like, I put my, <laughs> my, uh, yeah. put my nightgown down, <laughs> got off the top bunk, and I was like, hi. <laughs> and he was like, I'm so sorry. So sorry about it, and he was like, "You know what? Here, he gave me some ice cream from his freezer." Oh, like, I love that. He's like, "Go finish your business." <laughs> and uh, here's so, a treat for after this. You just triggered a memory. So also, I had this this girl who was obsessed with me in college. She she was a fourth semester, and I was a first semester. Mm-hmm. So she's about to graduate. Yeah, but she was in love with me, and she would come down to my dorm and like knock, and she'd be like, "Trying to smoke." Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Not my type, but she was just sweet and funny and fun to smoke with, and um, I told I was I introduced her to like masturbating with ice cubes, and introduce me right now because I need to know. Oh my god! Oh my god! What? So this is the best thing ever. So I have these these ice cube trays that are made like specifically for like water bottles like these that so that you can get like the ice cube yeah so it's like a cylinder yeah and um they you just plop her up there wow give it it a little a moment and it melts inside of you so you're like getting that sensation like kegeling that moment yeah no well i trust i've put ice cubes in my ass plenty plenty of times plenty of times but um she 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 coined the term shivering. She would call it shivering. She would come down to my dorm 
and she'd be like, girl, I'm trying to shiver. <laughs> <laughs> like, can I borrow some can tubes? Can I borrow some ice? <laughs> oh my God, can I, ice cubes? Uh, hey neighbor, do you have any ice? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm oh my god! To go shiver in my dorm room. I love so. that, but also, wow, what a sensation! Yeah, it's well, it's I guess like I love when people have it in their mouth when they're giving me head when they have just like the ice cube. Yes, because yeah. it makes their tongue cold, and then they like can push it inside of you with their mouth, mm-hmm. and it's just it's ooh, it's, it's ten out of ten total sensation. Speaking of, uh, I guess on the topic. I heard that it makes sense that you would play with temperature with mm-hmm. masturbation. Oh, I love some the different girls... temperature with the, especially with like the shower head too. Like mm-hmm. I will be given the foot, my foot will be changing the temperature as well. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs Multi- thrust when you can just multitask? Hot, cold, between. hot, cold, hot, cold. Yes, yeah. exactly. It's very good. But I, back to what I was saying, it was like uh, I discovered that some, for those of, you guys that have glass dildos, you can put it in the freezer to get it colder. And I was like, I truly have never thought of that. Also, if you masturbate with crystals, which a lot I know a lot of people do, like use rose quartz that are shaped into like dildo shapes. Yeah. They put them in the freezer and then they use them. I've used like metal ones mm. too, like heavy duty, like a horseshoe. Like the rods. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Oh, because you can like grip, right? Like, yeah. So, (laughs) (laughs) this is a wonderful story. I went, my friend met this dominatrix on Tinder, Mm -hmm. and he was, like, this very large man. The dominatrix or your friend? The dominatrix. Okay. And he, um, was, like, looked like a librarian. Like, had very, like, English teacher vibes. Professor vibes. And he... I can see him now. He's stunning, gorgeous, wonderful. I get to his house. He greets me with blunts, pre-rolled. So I'm just sitting there on his couch. We're smoking. He has the bowl packed. We are we are giving it every moment. We're talking yeah. about like boundaries. We're talking about everything, getting down to business. And then he's like, "Are you ready?" And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> yeah. Oh, honey, I'm always ready. <laughs> always ready. So we go into the bedroom. He fucking cuffs me up, ankles, wrists, the whole shebang, and he takes this giant metal horseshoe throws it on my stomach and said, that's going inside you. Ah! Oh and my I god, said, I think I would have came right there. I almost did. And <laughs> he, he, I was like, listen, like, you, I don't want to feel your penis, penis, I don't want you to take it out, it's, it's not about you, it's about me. And he's like, I'm all for that. Like, yeah, uh, of course. King woo. energy. <laughs> and I'm like getting red, like I'm so hot. Oh, uh, I'm so high. So it's high so hot here. here. Oh my god, and my, my horseshoe, off. hold on. Sweatshirt off. <laughs> Okay, we're going for it. Um, and what was I saying? So he's like. So he said that was going in you. And yeah, he said, I said, Good. yes, Only sir. Then, yeah. I said, of course, I'll take it. And so he, I was like, you can give me a head or whatever. That's fine. And so he, he goes to town for a bit, uses the giant fucking wand, right? Like a, an industrial strength boy. And then. Um, <laughs> and oh my. <laughs> takes the horseshoe and like hooks it in and it's. In a way that it's, like, on my clit inside well. of me. Mm-hmm. And then it's, like, hooked around the whole... The whole, moment, yeah. The whole moment. Mm-hmm. And it was from the freezer. Oh! Uh, it was so good. Uh, was oh, so, my God. He had a refrigerator for his sex toys in his closet. Uh, does he do men? He does well, everybody. Uh, <laughs> we're going to New York. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we're in the city, we're doing this. I'm going for... Oh, actually, let's talk about it. I'm going to go meet this photographer. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Sana sana de rana. It's a brujeria, a oh, little Mexican you. witchcraft. I don't know why it doesn't hurt anymore. See, magic. Um, um, but I've been wanting to shoot with this photographer forever. Mm-hmm. He does like mostly nude photography of these Gorgina women. Love that. Gorgina he, George. Yeah. They've, he's been wanting to shoot for years and like, okay, just. Right? Oh, wow. Right? Can I show them? Do you yeah. Want yeah. So. Here they are. Shout and out James Felix Raw. Give show, him a follow. Show these girls as well. These girls, James Felix. So we're shooting with him on my birthday. And we're going to do like a whole like 50s theme. Like we're going to do like super masculine androgynous vibes. And then oh, we're going to do okay. super high fashion femme. And then we're going to do like a little birthday 50s vibe. Like with a sad like kid with a cake in front of yeah. him. Yeah. But tits out. Oh, okay. Tits on the tits. Like, it's going to be, be a so cute. full, full moment. 
Um, stay tuned. Give me a follow. Let Whoa. me know. <laughs> so, word. Okay. Yes. I guess my last question for you is, when was the last time you masturbated? Today. Oh, lovely <laughs> This morning, in the bathtub, um, I have not a lot of privacy where I'm living right now. Yeah. So, sucks living at home for sucks living at home those for the of you that do. That I'm are... so sorry. Some of us are in an apartment, but also that might not be feasible for everybody. So not let me know if it's not. Right we'll now. get you help. Well, start a GoFundMe. Let's go. So I had to wait till the girlies were out of the house. Yeah. Oh. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. Oh no! As they drop I'm everything. And, oh my god! And I hit the. I'm not drunk. I swear. I swear. Uh. So this morning in the bathtub then? Yes, and it was wonderful, and um, we had to get it done in a quick little moment. It was just a quickie. Yeah. Because, guess, my mother came home in the middle of the moment. Ah, oh, God. And, of course, like, her, the bathroom that I use is in her room, because the boys' bathroom is never clean. Mm. So it's the boys' bathroom, trust me. It's I the know. boys' bathroom. As a boy. And so, she was like... The door's locked. She was like trying to get in, like jingling, 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 jingling yeah. the door, and I was like, "One minute, <laughs> one minute." Oh my god! I was already like, you know, <laughs> like pretty much, and then I was just like, "Gotta <laughs> close your eyes, get in the zone real quick." Yeah, go for it, lovely gal. So that this bring- is tobacco. Yeah, it is tobacco. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Um, about it. All right, so that was our interview about that. Now yes. we have just a little segment here called Would You Fuck Me? Would You Fuck Me? I'm gonna, we're gonna look at your Bumble Hinge, hinge your Hinge, My hinge profile. profile. And we're gonna look at Lindsay Yackle's Hinge profile as and we're well. We're gonna look at your. Uh, my grinder? Oh, wait, we're on the live, so I'll, uh, I'll show you next time. We'll show you show next time. time. You're gonna come back and we're gonna film it. Yes, for sure. Okay, so let's see your hinge. We'll get, okay. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. Let's, let's so open it. So, hinge is. is uh, we were I talking use about it this earlier. Only women on there, mm-hmm. and um, I love it that way because I feel like men on dating apps. They're, they're, they're for pigs. one thing. Mm-hmm. They, they're like Trust tits. me, I'm very... <laughs> well, not tits. Well, yeah. In mine, they're oh, like... It's the same. The same... same um, like, what's your dick? Mm, L- let me see it. Like, I'm so, trying to fuck. That's it. Not trying my, to find a relationship. My tinders are... Or, like, hinges, I whatever I have, is always pretty comedic. Yeah. So... We'll, we'll give her a look. We'll, okay. we'll show you each little segment okay. as we go through. This picture... Is this Long Beach? Um, that's uh, the rudder. The rudder. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. The rusty rudder is down here in Delaware. Yeah. Like how pretty this is. And the caption at the top says something like... Say? Oh, wait. Hold on. I it see. says, get someone who looks at you like... Boom. Like Oh, no. As I close it. <laughs> <laughs> here. Uh, there we go. Okay, word. And then the next thing... Oh, wait. Oh, there, yeah, we there, go. there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get someone who looks at you like boom. Like wow. boom. Like boom, boom, pow. Next one says, I recently discovered that I love looking like a clown. Same. Do you see the... Do oh, see and then the she... Underneath it is a picture that says, who wore it better? <laughs> and you have the, like, Pagliacci, the little, like, sad, droopy clown things. I love yes. those. That's so... Such a cute profile. Uh, okay. We're gonna talk about this picture. We're gonna talk <laughs> about this picture because I think we need to talk about this picture. Her picture is, I I mean, look how gorgeous she is. First of all, that body, ridic- not to objectify you, but that body is ridiculous. Oh, wait, hold on. Here we are. That body is fucking ridiculous. And I love that you, yes, oh, natural, bitch, you don't have to shave. Who shaves? Oh, my God. Not me. Oh, my God. Wrong I wish. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna get. Ooh. This is where I come out as somebody like who's fairly hairless. Like <gasps> you are. Yeah, girl. Oh my like god. I, this is literally three. Yeah. Days. Oh my god. This That's is, three days. This is no. This is like five days probably. Oh my god. I wish. No, mine is not like that. But that's, I... Mine gets it's to, natural. It doesn't stop growing. It literally does not stop, so I have to trim it, like, monthly or well, bi-monthly. monthly yeah. But, like, especially with women, because we've been shaving and waxing it off, like, men, like, their hair, like, stops growing at a certain length. Yeah. But mine never stops. Well, yeah. that picture is incredible. You look Thanks. gorgeous, darling. Yeah. She says, we'll get along if you smoke weed, eat ass, and want to dismantle the entire system. Love... 
you love to see it. <laughs> and then mm-hmm. she, uh, I love that you have a meme. It's a meme that says, take your sexual frustration out on me. Please and thanks. Please and thank you. Oh my God. I love that. And then I'm a, I'll fall for you if you play with my hair. Ooh. 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 <laughs> and then caught in the act, there's a little a gif of you drinking some Chandon Brut Rosé. Mm-hmm. Lovely love gal. Her. And then spilling it all over my shirt. Oh no, Gorgeous. but it's okay. She's gorge. She's gorge. It's stunning. Okay, and my I love shirt that you can do says, like a video like that. My shirt says freedom of speech, just keep your fucking mouth shut. And it has a girl with her nipples out on it, and it's a stunning shirt. I love that. Love and it. then another gorgeous, this psychedelic caught in the act photo. Mm-hmm. Miss Courtney Act. Courtney Act. Oh wow. Honey, if I was into women, yes. Period. Thank you. Also, your style's incredible. Would you fuck me? I of course I'd fuck you, honey. I'll fuck you right now. Hell yeah. Uh, with consent, yes. Post podcast. Post podcast. Oh wait! Oh my god! Yeah. We'll do a makeup yeah. review. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Wait, now we're gonna look at our friends, correct? We're gonna look at our friends. Yes. Uh, we're gonna look at Miss Lindsay Yackles because we're filming the live, or else I pull up my grinder. Hi, Lindsay. Thanks, Hi, Lindsay. Lindsay. <laughs> okay, this is Lindsay's hinge. Lindsay's hinge. Do you want to read it for me, yes, please? Yes, it's very cute. Very cute. So we start off. I want someone who will. Uh, find fun mac and cheese restaurants in New York City with me. Yeah, uh, mac and melts is the best. Period. No, sweet all... chick. Period. Ah, okay, I'll period. fight. Okay, I'll I gotta. Fight. Okay, next sweet time we're in New York. Sweet chick, black owned. They have vegan Lovely. and regular like meat eating options for every single thing that they have on the menu. Their Brussels sprouts fire. Oh, look at all those hearts we just got. Oh, Thank you. Oh, hearts. okay. Oh my Thank God. Thanks, guys. You. Um. Okay, I'll have to check out Sweet Chick. Mac and cheese is bomb. Mac and melt is mac and cheese. I also work at a mac and cheese restaurant right now, so I just I'm a problematic. I'm a stand. Yeah, yeah, I'm a stand for mac and cheese. So next, mac and melt is next great. one is a picture. It says how my friends see me, and it's very cute. She's very happy. She's playing in like some kind of snow or foam or something. Let me see. Oh, yeah. That's the foam. What is the foam run at Hofstra or whatever? Mm, Uh, She's a part of, she was a part of Danceworks at H-U-A-A-L-M-A-O Danceworks. Uh, Yeah, it's a charity foam run. It's apparently really fun. Love that. Love that. Um, My weekends look like walking around New York City. Cute little park bench moment. Looks like it's on the Upper West Side, probably. Stunning, gorgeous moment. Lovely overalls. Love the overalls. That nice, like, burnt orange color. She gave her little profile moment talking about her age. She's six feet tall. Yeah, honey, she's real tall. I love me a tall woman. We love yeah, a tall girl. It makes girl. me feel a little like, oh, oh hey, mom. <laughs> please fix my mommy issues for me. Please. Oh, my God. April, oh my if you're God. watching this, <gasps> wish you were taller. <laughs> <laughs> I I met this girl. I, I had a little TikTok go a little viral the other day. On the gay on the gay side, which is nice. Finally, we love the gays, the girls and the gays. And um, this girl duetted me, and she was like asking her cat, "Hey, how do you feel about this person being your new mom?" And then hands the microphone to the cat, (laughs) and it's like a little (laughs) cat sniff. And then they were like, "I'm not okay." (laughs) And so I ended up like reaching out to them, sending them the digits, and I'm a little Mm -hmm. bit crushing, and they are. Five ten. Lovely gal. Stunning. How tall are you? I'm five five. Five five. Okay. I feel like you, uh, maybe you just I get carry tall yourself. Girl no, energy. you do carry yourself taller. I think I'm five I, eight or something. I wear tall shoes to compensate. Two. Okay, back to Lindsay, stunning queen. She posted up on a rubber ducky, Hoochie can. Rubber ducky, style. you're so fun. You make bath time so, so much, much fun. fun. <laughs> Okay. 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 Let's see. What's we have next like one? a nice little rainbow. Oh, after the color run, color, color fest. Color run. Thing. Lovely. So she's a fun gal that loves colors. She's okay. giving me the Dutch braid. Mm-hmm. She's giving me everything. Mm-hmm. And then the last photo, she's with her and a little gal pal. Hi, Talene. That's we, Talene. We love a beat. A little pool pick. We love a pool pick. I think those were recent too. I think that was oh, within the last like very cute. month or so. I love she's that. Gorge. Her teeth Both are gorgeous. Are. She's Everything, crazy. eyebrows, hair, and she's tall. And she's tall. I love. Would I, I fuck love... you, Lindsay? Yes. yes. 
<laughs> Lindsay yes. has such a bright smile, and I you can see it in those pictures. She does. She's just She's so like happy. This ring light. This is Lindsay. Like you guys can't see it. Lindsay's just holding Lindsay's up the camera the like ring this. Light. She's like. <laughs> Word. Okay. Well. Oh my god. Thank I think that's our happy. masturbation Thank episode. You. I love you. Love. Ah. This was really fun. Oh my masturbate god. Masturbate by yourself. Yes. Masturbate with your friends. Also. Masturbate. I, Talk about it. Period. Uh, especially if oh, you have a vagina and if you're somebody who identifies shit. as a woman. Let's yes. talk about it. Let's do it. Do um, your thing, girl. And if you want to, get paid for it. Honestly, honey. Make your money. Make get your bread. Make, get that bread. Get that head. Then leave. Period. Peace out. Um, we're not going to end just yet. I want to give them your information. So oh, where can cool. we find you? We can find me at... Ariana, A R I A N N A, dot C on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And then. TikTok? You said oh you're a little God. viral. A little viral right now, a viral infection. Um, we don't know if we. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, ch- we'll see when the results come back. <laughs> it's, okay. It's poo poo pee pee Ari <laughs> with oh four eyes. <laughs> Give it a shout. <laughs> Give her a holler. Lovely. If you're straight, don't find me. Don't interact. Do, don't DNI, interact. Don't interact. You did not see that. You did not hear that. <laughs> this is not an episode you will not be seeing. No. It's over. Game over. Oh my god. Thank um, you. Do you have anything you want to promote? Like, I know you oh, also went to school for theater in yes. New York. Yes. So, I have been working on my own music, like, writing and producing my own music, and I've been recording some shit. Yay! And okay, hopefully word. we have a drop coming so you know well this will come out in a in in a couple weeks like and then and then we'll have a nice little maybe like thanksgiving november october spooky moment okay lovely Ooh, love that i don't know we'll see we'll see yeah um (laughs) lovely gal well thank you so much and thank you you guys people have actually been watching this made me so happy thank Thank you you so much guys um yeah i think we're gonna end the episode here because we're gonna go get high and drunk i mean hi i'm drunk bye Bye.